this generator for free. Just got it running. I had to throw a carburetor on it. It's a piece of shit Jang Dong 196. But it runs and it's free. So we're gonna get this third, take this third apart. be a mini bike motor wait for it to die it should die any minute started it up on this and it's actually running off the bad gas that's in the tank very least it'll be good for parts. Ain't dying now. This turd runs, runs pretty decent. I'd throw a carb on it. Hold on one minute. All right, I had to clean the lens off. Do a carb on it real quick because the car, other carb is trash. I started it up on the uh, brake clean, and it's actually running off the shit gas that's in the tank. But got me a free motor. So, the thing with these is, they have tapered cranks, but I got plenty of 196 cranks, so we can swap that out. That's no big deal. Besides the Jang Dong, yeah, Jang, I guess that's Jang Dong. They have shitty cranks in them. They got the worst fucking cranks in any motor that I know of. So, let's get into tearing this thing down. All right, so I had to put my chest mount on some hands are free. Let's tear this piece of shit apart. <sighs> nice and warm. I don't know if I'm getting too close or not. I can't really see the screen because it's on top of my deck and I'm standing down here. is holding this. The hell is it that drops down? That's weird. Ah. So she slides out that way. That big ass muffler. Look how much horsepower that robs. I'll tell you what though, that'd be one quiet ass mini bike. So we can't get to that exhaust, so let's knock off. Knock these top braces off and the tank off. Not like my usual videos, but I ain't got nothing going on right at this particular minute. Whoop. 
maybe we'll go from generator to full blown uh, mini bike motor. Make a little series out of this one or something. Got more nuts and bolts I can shake a stick at. I disassembled a bike and left all the damn bolts in there. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll build this motor for that bike that I pulled apart because that has a blown up 196 on it. Alright, so now let's try to get this tank off. Nice nasty P looking fool. And look at the gas tank. I wonder what it looks like in there. The tank's any good. It looks anything like the damn carburetor did. It'll come right off. Shit, it don't even want to open up. There we go. Screen. Can't really see. Oh, that bad in there. We'll save that tank. Let's get to drain it somewhere. Ooh, hook it up with something, I don't know. I have to put that out the way. Put that over here for now. Oh shit. Ugh. Stay. Put that out of the way. Won't need no bombs. Alright. Let's take that control panel off. By the way, the generator side of this thing doesn't work, so that's why we're uh, cutting her up. I don't know if I use that switch for anything. I think I'll use that switch for something. Do it new. All right, well, store it there in the scrap pile. All right, so. It looks like there is no side cover. Looks like the generator bolts right up against the motor. I thought I disconnected that. Oh, no, I did it from that side. So we're going to have to come up with another side cover, which ain't no big deal. But, all right, let's get this off first. And I'll worry about draining the oil. millimeter back there. Oh shit. Yep. The big ass stealthy muffler. Nope. No sir. Got a 14 out here with us. Yes, we do. I see the 916s right there. Let's try that bitch. Alright. Oh, 
Don't lose that bolt. It's a good exhaust bolt. Put that right back on the motor. Come on. All right. And I'm gonna save that. Stick your old scrap pile, I'll drop, I'll bring it down the basement later. So, that's where we're at now. And, I'll pop these mounts off. Out of 14, yep. Gotta go manual today, or now. It's crazy. That's a that side cover is a part of the motor there. That's okay. Cause so we're gonna throw a new crank in it. I got I got a Jang Dong crank, and I got an ARC Max Stroke crank. And I think I got a Stroker crank. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's a uh, 55 millimeter crank for 196. You got one of them too somewhere. Oh, I think I need a 13. I have a 13 out here. Yeah, here we go. There we go. I think it's only the second time I ever took a generator apart. Took one of them Generac generators apart once. But at the very least, I got a bunch of bolts, sheet metal, you know, side cover, pull start. At the very least, so can't beat can't beat it for free. Oh shit, this ain't even a 196. It's 163. Okay. So it's gonna be interesting to measure the bore. Should be a 196 crank though, at least I guess. But we'll find out. Like I said, worst case, I got a bunch of crap I could use like like these tins. A lot of people they don't put these back on the motors. You gotta you gotta put them back on. The motor overheat. And I got a bunch of blocks I just I bought and stuff like that. I can put them together with these parts. I got it completely blown up 196. This is off a bike I bought and this tank was on it. And I didn't see it. Guy said it ran, just the carb needed to be clean. Yeah, okay. I didn't see it because the tank was over. It was kind of a little too late. So, bitched about that to him. I'm supposed to go get another bike off him. Fast forward about two weeks, the other bike I bought. Sold the frame, take the motor off, let's put the motor on the other bike, and the crank snapped clean off. 
and I'm pissed. But the insides of the motor are good. But I got 196 cranks. But the point was, I was supposed to be buying running bikes. So, kind of got beat on that deal. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into it too much. Is I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into it on on the internet because I'm gonna say some pretty nasty shit that may incriminate me. All right, let's pull this pig off. Make sure there's no fucking grounds nowhere. I don't see any grounds. pig down here all right so now this is what we got left and we'll drain the oil I guess it, I wonder if there's some kind of gear drive in there or something but let's drain that oil it's probably never done matter of fact I gotta service my own generator that oh shit that I never use nasty oil try to speed up the process a little bit here a mini bike smells like old old gas let's put that over there for now so we're gonna put that on a bin and uh let's put that back on there all right now let's get that pig off let me go get a rag Careful because the damn thing looks like it's ready to fall off. Alright. Put that back in there. And let's see how this thing's attached. I'm curious. One sixty three CC. If I could look up and see what the stroke is, it ain't gonna matter. It's probably a 196 crank with a smaller piston. I got like a 65 millimeter piston or some shit in it. Doesn't matter. Alright, um. Let's pop that off. Got an eight out here. I know I had an eight out here. I seen it earlier. Come on, eight millimeter. Where you at? This shit's probably right in front of my face, too. Piece of hose don't need that. There it is. I buried it. God damn. Yeah, I'm starting to develop fucking allergies. Getting old sucks. 
Come on, come out of there. Bunch of fangled electrical shit. Guess I gotta pop that off of there. Well, you think that goes into the crank? All right. It's more eight millimeter action. Thing probably burned out is that what happened is, is uh, I stuck this on here but there was no boot on it and he said it popped off I guess they had it jammed on there it popped off arced out against the uh, the case and he said it ain't worked since the generator nice shitty quality Wiring harness, more wires. Ah, screw it, just cut it. All right, cut everything. This is the brushes, little shit brushes. Bindings, uh, if they're tens, let's pop them off. That one was kind of loose. These people are uh, riding around over there. See if they pop out. Yep, there you go. Riding mini bikes, but that's all they do is ride up and down the street. They don't have no idea the joy of uh, street riding, I guess. <laughs> I need a hammer. Let me go get a hammer. All right, got our hammer. Start busting shit up. Nice piece of aluminum. We're for the British aluminium. Oh, there we go. That's our problem right there. Got a bad winding. Yeah, I should have took it apart and fixed it, huh? Oh, well. Not like I need another generator. I don't use the one I have. Try to get these fucking windings off. Biggest problem is getting this fucktard off. I don't think it's gonna come off too easy. Too easy for sheezy. 
but I'll go ahead all the way into there. I'll wag it back and forth and see what happens. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> that was easy enough. So now we got our nub. Uh, fuck was I gonna say? Pull side cover. Let's get a look see at that. Crazy thing is, I could probably cut that, and use this, but ain't got no torque converter holes or nothing. But who cares? Let's pull it. Sure, I got side covers too somewhere. Right. Another one hiding up there. I wonder if they're staying their size. They kind of look like it. We will find out. Make sure. Kind of want the can to stay with it. Probably won't. Oh, we got a metal cam too. All right. This is not a bad gasket. They're the better gaskets too. All right. And so there we go. Side cover or er, pull start needs some work. Looks like about a uh, oh, no, that sh stroke looks pretty short. I wonder if it's 54 or not. I'm not sure, but like I said, anyhow, we're gonna swap the crank. We'll do a governor delete and put a new side cover on and we'll have a decent little motor. I have billet rods. I got a couple motor with billet rods, but they're going to stay in them motors. This will probably just be going on a flip bike or something. I don't know. Hmm. What do I want to do now? I really don't want to. I don't want to pull the head or nothing. I'm going to have to pull the valve cover to do the crank because I got to pull that. So I guess we'll take a look at that for real quick. And this thing's gonna get ready to spill. Let me get another pan. My backup pan. Alright, let's check out this uh, valve cover. Hopefully this don't have some kind of regulated coil so we can use that coil. Is the Hondas do? The Honda coil won't go past 6500. Uh, yeah. I do have a flywheel for this. From that blown up motor, it's a 196. make a nice little motor out of this oh I got mod 2 cams laying around 
I could put a Mod 2 in this. I have some uh, Champion Rockers I could throw in this. Some uh, 26 pound springs I could just throw in this. That sounds good. Sounds good. Do I have a spark plug socket out here? No, I don't. I ain't worried about pulling a spark plug. But there's the head. That exhaust port don't look too small. Ah, screw it. All right. This carburetor is out of my stash too. It's not jet or anything, but this motor is free. So if I get like a VM and jet it, I mean it'll still be worth it. I have a flywheel I could use in this. I have a set of rockers, but I could use these too. It's no big deal. I could toss on some, not with, you know what, with these retainers, I could put 22s in there, I got 22s, I put a couple of 22 pound springs in there, basically free, I got a bunch of mod 2 cams, I could put them in, one of them in, got a crank, I got a flywheel. I just don't have a rod that I would put in here. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do. I do. Would, I would like to pull the head though. As I am curious of the size of the piston. Beans, it says it's a 163. Wonder if it has something to do with the stroke. Or it's just bullshit and it's actually a 196. Sometimes they bullshit for, I think, EPA reasons. Uh, do, do, do. Let me go through my stash, see what I got. Alright, so here's the stash back in the back cave. Got a big block there. That's going to be parts for Jupiter Jacks 420 build. 196. Uh, I think that has a rod in it. I don't remember. Another 196. Another 196. And I think that said it was a 240. I don't know. I don't care. Brand new. In the box so I gotta either get this together and sell it or take these tires and wheels off clean them up and that suspension and put them on my brother's bike his CT 200 I'm up in the air I really could use the money but I want to do my brother a solid with that so I'm probably just gonna build my brother's bike remember that little fucker I want to do something with that. I want to get a better motor on that. That's what I want to do. That motor just, I don't know. I'd love to put a nice little two-stroke on there. I acquired that off of uh, Wes. The old Motovox motor. Wes got that off of me and traded me that motor, another small block, and a big block for it. And I sold that frame today to T. And there's some other crap. So, this is off the motor that blew up. That's the torque converter off it. This motor is the one with the broken crank. Not happy about. I got another crank for that. This, this has a billet rod in it, and of course a flywheel, but 
big block. Okay. I didn't even realize I had this. It's a GX160. Alright. That's going to get built one day. So, we'll cannibalize this one to make the generator motor run. So let's pull this one out. Alright, so we got our side cover and we got a billet rod in there and we got some rockers, some champion rockers. I believe they're 1.1s, not sure. And we got our flywheel. So we'll cannibalize this to make this work. So, I'm gonna get this flywheel off. Got my box of tricks here. Got us a Mod 2 cam. Stick that in. Some 26 pound springs, just go for it, whatever. And a brand new gasket. And let's get our puller for a side cover or for the flywheel. This isn't actually for this, but it'll work. This is a steering wheel puller. Uh, it doesn't really say anything. Yeah. See manual to avoid firing airbag. A uh, steering wheel puller. But it works good. Let's run this in. That lined up correctly. A little more. All right. Um, it's a nine sixteenths for that. All right. Hopefully the damn phone don't die. I'm outside doing this, my son's watching TV, and it's nice out. Didn't really expect to do it today. But might as well. Be kind of cool. Generator motor turned into mini bike motor right in front of your eyes. Ah, Christ. All right, whatever. I can stay in there. So, it's a nice little flywheel. That there. We're going to use this crank. I don't know what. I don't know if there's a Jang Dong block or not. I don't know. But who cares? We're going to use it. So let's get them out of there. Where is my bolt? Right there. Or, yeah, my bolt. Hopefully, got good bearings. Probably make more sense to use this block, wouldn't it? But it's not the generator, so. Wouldn't kind of make any sense. We're going to use the generator block for the hell of it. And if anything goes wrong, we'll swap everything onto this block. Because I just want to say it's a generator. Because <laughs> I'm fucking weird. Let them dowel pins are the same. They look like it. Let me stick that in there. Like literally. 
Why don't you just stay under this bed forever? Just like how you were found in the Sahara Desert like the old fossil you are. How about you stay in the circus? Like the goddamn ugly orange looking clown you are. Okay, shh, be quiet. I think this box can be opened with this crowbar right here. Oh shit, a taser. This is good. I should shut the damn door, I guess. Is it really that good? How about we use the shotgun? Can't hear over my son's videos. Does that mean I get to shoot you too? Alright. Bearing's not terrible, but not beautiful, but it's not terrible. Push that up. Mm, not terrible. Not terrible at all. Be good to go. Come on, Mr. Rod, get up there. Now, I know I could do this. I've done it before. Oh, here's a Jang Dong block. There's a big J in there. Okay, enough chattering, both of you. I found the next crate, and it contains a hand wheel. There we go. All right, here's our crank. I think I saw a small cog downstairs at the basement where we shot Grandma at. Maybe it will We'll swap it out for that one. Grandma's already awake. She want to play with us again. Shit. Crank looks good. I didn't even notice it. Shit. Should be a three-quarter shaft. I don't know if that's three quarter or five eighths. I don't have any shit right here right now. I don't know. Oh well. I got five eighths clutches all over the place. So let's pull the rod down. Pull the piston right out the block here. All right. So. Looks a little shitty there. All right. We'll put them to put this to the side for now. Let me shut this TV. Uh, shut this door. All right, so now uh, let's pull this off. Pull this turret off. Hopefully, I can get this whole video all done today. I don't know if my uh, battery's gonna hold up or not. Pull the old governator arm off. for now. One sixty eight. I really want to take the head off and uh, measure that piston, but I don't want to get in there. Head gasket and torque in the head gasket and all that other nonsense. So we're not gonna do that. And I forgot the goddamn impact gun. Hold on. Alright. Oh fuck, wrong size. Here the fuck we go. Alright, the socket's a little loose, but hopefully it works. Get her nut. Get my hand behind this. There we go. 
go. Nice shitty flywheel, another one. All right, so let's pull this shit out. Nice shitty cam, with no kind of duration. Oh wow, look at them lifters. A little different. Let's have some shit. I wonder if this crank's gonna work in here. We's gonna find out, ain't we? If not, we're gonna put that motor together with some of this shit. Uh, let's get that fucking spark plug out of there. Never seen lifters that short. Push rods are the same length. That's out of a 196. Uh, I got tiny ass valves in it too, but that's all right. She's pretty rich. Pretty damn rich. Alright, let's get in there and get them rod caps off. The rod cap off. stick them rockers on there so we're gonna take that all off put all that shit back in I wonder why them lifters are so short but the push rods are the same length as the uh, 196s I don't know if anybody knows leave a comment block looks the same stroke don't look any really different we'll find out though Ain't we? Come on out of there. Come on out of there. All right, there we go. There's an old crank and New crank. Can't really tell by. That looks like it has a little more stroke to it. I don't know, but we're going to try it. That crank is garbage. And. For shits and giggles, let's see how this. Feels okay. Don't feel like the journal's any different. All right. Let's get that crap out of there. It's gonna be very interesting to see if this works out. Alright, so I was on the phone. Uh start taking some of the crap out. So I pull the piston down a little bit, just making sure the rings don't come out. And we're gonna pull the wrist pin out. I might have did this on video before. I don't remember. Just be real careful. That wrist pin to clear. 
a little more. Ah, shit. Here goes the fucking wiper ring. Let's pull that bitch out. Come on. All right. All right there's the shit rod. And... Pull our wrist pin on, or yeah, let's pull the piston out of this one. And she won't slide out. Come on. Ah, Christ. Let's pull this one out, too. And see so if we can get a socket in there. The fuck is locked in there somehow. I must have ran this thing low on oil or something. Coming out that way. Oh, gotta keep the piston. Gotta get the rod. I don't have any more carb cleaner, I think. So, I'll wipe it down as much as I can. Looks good. Thanks, the ARC rod. And we got our. Uh, make sure the rest pin fits. All right, so that fits. Let's put some uh, assembly lube in there. They're all lubed up. I mean, that looks like a 68 millimeter piston to me. So, I think they're bullshitting about that 162 or 63 or whatever the hell it is. Alright, so our ARC rod's in. And, let's do this. Do believe that's in? Yep, she's in. All right, that's in. Wish she could be a little cleaner about this, but well, I'm not the clean. But all right, let's get that piston back up in there. Hopefully, yep, she's going back up. All right, cool. At the top of the stroke. Yeah. This is in a garage, so I know there ain't no water down in the bore. So the cross hatching should be okay still. Get some of that mess out of there. Um I guess I should block that off, huh? Or, for the hell of it now, I'm just going to cut it. We could get the bolt cutters. Alright, let's bolt cut our uh, governor arm. That out, yeah, it fell out of the harness. Yeah. 
right. Check the lens. Good. Got our arm cut. Good enough. I don't feel like drilling and tapping it right now. Or tapping it, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's just nip the tip off. Shot over the yard. All right. Good enough. It's good enough. We'll leave that in there. We'll leave that in there for now. We'll leave that in there for now. And bearing. Where's the bearings at? front of me I mean I could put that motor together with all this shit but why not make a generator into a mini bike motor Just why not especially since we got the parts so now let's put our new crank in I guess sneak that past the rod I've done this before done this before I've done this with two twelves must be something up with the weight on this crank don't want to fuck the rod up shut the door my son's watching his shows if I can get this damn piston up higher go up a little higher it's definitely uh Way to the top of the block. Huh. I really can't get this done. Let me mess around with this a little bit. I know I've done this before. You mess around with it a bit. All right, so I went in my archives and I just grabbed another crank. This is a 196 max stroke, I think. This is like a, some kind of cart legal. Uh, Jesus Christ. A stroker crank, but it's only like a couple thousands. Uh, the stroke's only a couple thousands difference. It's not really crazy. I don't remember. But it's not really. 
it's not a 55 millimeter crank and I guess it's not a 54 I don't know but anyway she fits so oh shit look at that we've acquired a problem Ugh. piston skirt hits the crank oh fucker that's crazy huh damn it we ended up with a problem Look at that shit. It's right up against it. Hmm. Ugh. We have to stick another piston in there or what? Let me see what my options are and I'll bring you right back. Alright, so believe it or not, <laughs> I'm still out here. It's like 9.30 at night. I was on the phone like two hours with my cousin. Putting this motor together. So. Where the hell is it? That's the generator block. Now, I found out why the lifters are so short. This block is way shorter than the 196. So, the stroke in this was way shorter the piston with the uh, 196 crank and the billet rod the piston stuck out like uh, i don't know I have a fucking piston anywhere i have a piston anywhere the piston with that rod stuck out of the block like oh shit don't want to go in it's a damn shame because it's got a nice bore to it the bore is really nice Well, it stuck out about that much from that bot that that top ring up it stuck out like that much so that block's got a real short stroke to it and it's a damn shame because the cross hatching in it is fucking beautiful and I couldn't just throw the piston with the rod and all that shit back in because I can't use the crank. And if I like, I, I the rod, it's not even the rod, it's not even the piston, it's the crank. The, the crank has to be changed, so cannot use this block. So it's somewhat of a generator motor. It's Frankenstein together from a generator motor. <laughs> Actually, nothing out of the generator is going in this motor except for the sheet metal and the side cover and that coil. So it's the remnants of a generator motor. Yeah, pretty much. We'll use the valve cover. The cam's not going to get used. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with that. I just fucking scrap it. I got plenty of fucking stock cams. Yeah. So that was a, uh, it's kind of a failure. The block deck is way too low. But we're going to have a nice little 196 out of it. With all the crap laying around. And we're still going to call it the generator motor because why the fuck not? I actually used the head gasket. It was a nice head gasket, so I reused that. Nice fire ring looking gasket. Side cover from, it was on this block. I cleaned everything up, put it all together. Because I was on the phone and, you know, this would have been a three hour fucking video anyhow. I'm going to finish it up and I guess I'll do a video of it running. And we'll be back then. 
All right, so it's pretty much finished. 10 o'clock at night. I'm ready for uh, relax. The old generator motor is now a little uh, 196 screamer. Used as much as we can out the generator, but the only use we can use. But there she goes. Still a Jang Dong block, so still technically the same thing. If I should clock that more, yeah, maybe I will. But I'm gonna go on Amazon. I'm gonna get a VM22 for it. Get a blue one to match the cover, and maybe in another video we'll have it running. Our old generator motor converted, and no mini bike motor. That's that'll be it for this video. Like I said, when I get the carburetor, we'll get it all running. And I gotta put oil in it. I don't have any oil, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.